Flo accepted her five-year-old son as the baby of the family once more. Two and one half years passed peacefully. The forest offered plenty of food and the streams provided clean drinking water. Fifi heard Flint crying. He was over eight years old and still a baby. Yet his cries were now well founded. Flo was dead. Flint was distraught as he inspected his mother's body. offer. Finally, Flint lay down close to his mother. Flo was 53 years old. Her heart had failed. Others arrived slowly as if to share in Flint's grief. climbed a tree in which to make a nest just above the stream. Soon the whole family gathered. Friends began to drift away, but Flint did not move from his nest. Even when Fifi and his big brothers left, he refused to follow. Flint stayed near his mother's body for three weeks. He died of grief. What is it that distinguishes humans from all other beings on the earth? Is the human heart unique or one among many? With her capacity for language, Washo was one of the few animals who can share what's in her heart. Washo has expectations of her friends, and if you come in four days a week, then by gosh, she expects you in four days a week, and if you don't come in, you've got some explaining to do. I was um, pregnant in the summer of 1982, and I had a miscarriage, and was gone for a couple days. So I came in, and she kind of gave me the cold shoulder. And I said, I'm sorry I've been gone, but my baby died. And I thought Washa would understand because I knew she had lost a baby before too. She looked at me and then she looked away and she looked back into my eyes and she signed cry. And I knew in that moment that she felt empathy. I got up to leave and she signed, she signed, please person, hug. And so I came back and we, and we visited for a while.
There are certain animals in whose lives we can see our own reflections. Animals in whom we see the genesis of our own emotions.